to day three of review week or day. For me, it's just gonna be day because I'm doing this all the day. If you guys know and watched my other videos, you know I reviewed the Tassel Kick, a very good GoPro kick, and Sony budget headphones. And some jokes happened and some funny things happened, so I totally recommend it. watching that. I almost look a little tough. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to the review of the Joby Gorilla Pod. The new Joby Gorilla Pod lineup of 2017. I know it's 2018, but I think they also say this is a 2018 model too. I'm not sure. But welcome to the review of this nice Gorilla Pod splash. Now this is ball head. Ball head. Um, if you want, this is the 3K kit. If you want a little bit stronger one, you can get that with 5K kit. And when it means 5 or 3 or like K, it means kilograms. Now, this is a new version, and they do not call this Bolodex, but it is Bolodex. And that means it's very fluid. Um, but today is going to be. Now this is a very strong Gorilla Pod. If you want something stronger than a 5K kit, it's still Gorilla Pod X. It comes with an aluminum body, so it's super strong, but this is like almost as strong. It's just two kilograms. Here. This is very strong. So when you first get it, it's kind of hard to flex it, but then it just gets you can just get used to it and it gets a little bit softer, but after that softness, it's like so far, not getting softer, which is okay, and it's, it's strong, and that means it's good. Um, it has ABS plastic bill, uh, rubber bands, part like rubber like, circles going through each sphere, bendy part. That's if you're filming on a very steep surface, this rubber will work on and it won't sink. Now, this is kind of cool. Um, okay, this is a quick release kit. Comes with a level, so you know if your shot is level or not. Which is very useful, especially because this is a flexible tripod. You can really on the surfaces. There's basically nothing bad about this tripod. I love it so much. She's my awesome sister. Is it good? Mm hmm What's your review on it? The level? No, the whole thing. Yeah, it's nifty. Um, multifunctional, very cool, a little hard to balance sometimes because of the weight of the camera, but it's still cool. Yeah. Um, we were gonna get the 5K kit, but we just got it. We'll just get the 3K kit for now. Best in one meter. Can we have to? Well, the size of the round, like the balls, are a little smaller too. But the, the 5K kit's in the middle. This is my favorite game to play with this gym. It's fake. Like, you could die when you should do that. Do not put your camera on this while I play. Now, to the review, the main review. You just heard my sister. It is a little hard to balance. Because I think it's just because we're not used to it right now. It's been like less than a month, I bet you, I think. Um, but, some good things. This is adjustable. You can like say you're doing it, you're shooting this way and then you wanna shoot that way. You can just say like changing the ball head part because it's super tight. You just have to spin this dial a little bit make it loose. And then, not too loose though. And then spin it. But the thing is, the 5K kit, 
you don't even have to get the, uh, the ball it's like it comes with two dials so the one dial controls the slidiness of the turning part um, then the other dial controls the ball head but this is just the smaller 3k kit cheaper a little bit cheaper version you get this at B&H uh, photo, photo, photo and video you can get this at Henry's, you can get it at Best Buy. You can get it at a lot of places. Amazon, I think. I think Amazon's just getting it. I Amazon's a little bit overpriced. Like the five K kit at B and H is like two hundred dollars, and then at Amazon, it's like the new version is five hundred dollars. B&H is like $300 cheaper than that. I don't know what Amazon is doing, but their pricing is completely off and way too expensive for a girl. You can get a girl buy cheaper than that. And it's But very Dial is very good quality, it's not that cheap. It is not cheap at all. This whole thing is like premium. Like, it's all like metal. Then like, this part's just plastic. The level feels good quality. The, this is metal. This is very strong plastic. If you get the plastic kit, it's, it's the outside plastic, but it has a mm, aluminum, I think. Frame, skeleton in under words or terms. Very good. Like I don't know. It's right now. It's just hard to balance. But with that balancing, like it's hard to balance. The ball head is removable, and it has that tiny like cut out bin. So then you can like say this is like hanging on to something. You want to get a direct overhead view. Well, overhead's going to be like that, but you want to get a shot like that. Like, straight. You just go like straight down. Like, you can't go like that. Like, you can't do it that way, but you can do it this way. I don't know if it's in the camera. I'm not sure. But if I got that, it's okay. Very strong. Uh, I'm filming with my DSLR right now, so I can't turn it on. But, um, but I can put my GoPro on. Sort of. I always use this for, well, my sister and I always use this for our DSLR. We never put our GoPro on this way. Like, we, like 1% of the time we put our GoPro on it. Mostly we put a sky even the blocking mechanism. It's terrible, but. Screw it on right now. I'm not joking, this can actually work against it's not fake. <sighs> My vlogging setup. No, I I I rather vlog This is just like underwater vlog. But this vlogging mechanism does very good design. The Cassie failed on their walking mechanism. But if I was gonna use this monstrous beast um, drill pod for vlogging, <laughs> first of all, the GoPro's would like to hold way more weight. Um, but it would be a good vlog, is that? I would totally do it. This would be a good vlogging setup, but I think Joby does make a gorilla pod for um, for uh, GoPro and phones and their small cameras and big cameras. Um, the 5K kits more for Pro DSLRs. One shot I not put on YouTube, but. Um, a cool way to use the is make the one-sided leg straight up the 
approximately straight and put this uh, two, these two legs like this. And then you put it on a surface, then you, you just have to put some pressure on it and you can bend it slowly and get a clean shot. It's a cool way to get a shot. And then you can also go like slow and, and this kind of stabilizes because um, you can put some like weight, like especially because this is a goat, right? You can put more weight here and a little bit of weight here. Now it's balanced, kind of. Now it's balanced. Now it's going to produce less shape in your hand. Um, it's better to hold the product that's connected to your camera than hold the camera directly. You're, you're going to shake. So that little, little bit of the shaking on your hand can be caught by the object like this girl on and it can slow it down. So that's my basic review. Dial is very good, rubber is very good quality. Um, the level is very accurate. Um, if you need a Gorilla Pod, I would totally recommend you get the new version. This is a stronger version of the SLR Zoom and a better looking SLR Zoom. It is the 2017 lineup. Um, that's basically my review. I like the black and gray look with the splash of red. Which be did a good, um, good um, time designing it. But it's been a ton of time. Um, the grips here are very good and they feel very premium. Metal, everything is not. This is not a cheap thing. This is over a hundred dollars. Hundred legit dollars. Um, for a price of over a hundred dollars, it doesn't feel cheap. Very good quality. You can feel it. Like they, they, they it's like it's very premium feeling. This is very good for hanging on trees, mini overhead shots. You're not gonna get an overhead shot pod. Set up Casey Neistat uses the old 5K kit. Well, not 5K, well, the official Joby Gorilla Pod with Ballhead X. This is the 5K kit, is the new version of that. This is also Ballhead X, the new pod. Basically, the SLR Zoom and the 5K kit and 3K kit. The new this is the new version of the SLR Zoom. Sorry if this is a little confusing, but um, the, the, the bulk version 5K and uh, 3K, or the, the new version of the SLR and the new version of the uh, the, uh, the official um, official official um, um, ball head X. You'll be real applied. Um, this is the new version. Well, this and the 5K kit is the newer version of it. The, they're both strong. Uh, they both feel better and they fix a lot of problems with the first gen. Um, some people complain about like um, the 5K kit being too loose or something or break. Well, being like too flexible. So then Joby made it a little bit stronger, more premium, and put a different look for a splash of red. Like the splash of red, um, pretty premium, like hard to find. Uh, nice locking mechanism, way better than the Cassie's GoPro one. The cat, uh, sorry, Joby does make a uh, GoPro iPhone, sorry, not just iPhone, but GoPro phone, um, uh, small cameras, pro DSLRs. Uh, beginner DSLRs, different weights, as uh, strong and just like girl pods for weak objects. It's like not weak, but like less weighty objects. Um, they make Joby makes a ton of different girl pods. Um, the, I know this is kind of confusing. It's because of the new lineup and the old lineup. It's just coming together and people are starting to get well. It, it's it's having more sales and more people are getting it. Um, like Casey Neistat uses the first gen or the older version of the 5K kit and then the, sorry, the, the Ballhead X. He uses the Ballhead X and the new version instead of all the Ballhead X. 
you're making it to 5k kit and then the SLR zoom, the white and black, it's turning into this 3k kit. So the SLR name is turning into the new versions. Um, it's uh, the 3k kit. That's why it's a tiny bit confusing when I'm trying to explain it. You got like, you guys know what I mean? If you guys have been looking to Joby Girl Pod or seen their YouTube channel, you know what I mean. Um, but but like, I, I, I'm pretty sure Casey Bass has to update his Joby Girl Pod with the new version. He always likes Joby. He likes Joby. Like the thing is, Joby Girl Pod. Like especially him and this, like a little bit of us, we have a similar reasoning. Like Casey and I said, he vlogs, he shoots, and then, like if he carries around a big bulky tripod and then carries like a gear, like the gimbal, like the stabilizer, and all these things, it's so much weight and things to carry around. This girl pod does like what everything. And camera track cards and like it stabilizes a little bit so that's why like he uses it and that's why we like mostly invested in uh, gorilla pod so that's my review for today um uh, so thank you much for watching guys uh, very good for the price well yeah very good for the price definitely would recommend it if you need a gorilla pod uh once again, thank you for watching. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe. It's gonna be epic here. And if you guys didn't see my other reviews and other videos, go check them out right now. Um so thank you for watching guys again. Also ring that bell, ding a ding ding. Um and yeah.